what else am I missing before I let you go, Mike, that uh, you think the first four weeks we're not discussing or the NFL front office is discussing that hasn't reached top of mind yet because that hasn't affected a win-loss or a major first down? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what's interesting to me is we all talked about the new four new referees and the adjustments that they're going to have to make and, and how it's going to be difficult for them. But the problems we're discussing, they're with the veterans. They're not with the new guys. And, um, and I find that kind of fascinating that the, the youngsters, so to speak, have seemed to develop really pretty quickly. And so, um, you know, I'm still looking at the game and I'm seeing certain officials that certain referees that I do think it's time that they really consider retirement, um, whether it's voluntary or maybe mandatory. But I, I think based Ooh. on how these young guys are uh, performing, you know, maybe it's time for another set of new guys to occupy that position. Okay. And where's Ed these days? He's there. I mean, he's a consultant now. So he's making Ed's he's consultant? making the rounds talking about what roughing the passer is. I remember I remember him saying to me before he left, "When I leave, I'm not I don't want anything to do with the NFL. I'm going to get in my motorhome and drive around the country." And now I read about him trying to defend the roughing the passer calls as the league officiating department consultant so he really hasn't oh my gone gosh away. he's still in the mix he is not gone away the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience